right okay so welcome back to my channel uh, my name's Kay and if you are here looking for a weight loss video you're not going to find it this is the long awaited uh, eBay video about how to put stuff on eBay if you're using your phone so for this you're going to need your phone you're going to need something to sell you're going to need the app on your phone um, an eBay account and you're also going to need a tape measure a well lit area and a little bit of time it's a bit boring I warn you now. So I'm about to list two things. I'm about to list a dress, a Disney dress, and also a Disney t-shirt, because if you've been watching for more than two minutes, you'll know that I really love Disney, and it might be 40 odd days away. Oh my God, it's only 40 odd days away. Um, but I'm also overpacking already. So aside from being excited, because I am going abroad it also means i'm fairly broke so i also need some cash and i find ebay is a really good way to get cash and i've been an ebay seller since my daughter was a teeny tiny dot and um yeah and i was on i was on an old style modem i was on the computer and things were a lot more difficult but as long as your phone's got a camera phone then it's all good so um enjoy this video and it's really more of a tutorial if you want the um weight loss vlogs that's coming again tomorrow for wednesday weigh-in but as today is tuesday then yeah let's get selling all right bye Hello! I'm trying you out on my camera for a change. So I promised, I can get in shot, I promised that I would do, I'm going to get down here and crouch and speak to you, I promised that I would do a put to you on how to use eBay. So I've done some clearing out and I'm going to try and show you how to do it on your phone. So this is my eBay account. So the first thing that you do is you go to selling so i've obviously got it downloaded my phone and list an item so i'm going to describe my item here so this item that i'm going to do this first item is a disney halloween dress now i think i actually got this off ebay i wanted it for the holiday and of course couldn't use it for the holiday because it's got as you can see it's got long sleeves but what's really nice about it is it's got all the villains on it. So I love this dress. I would love to have worn it. It was actually for my little girl. <coughs> Unfortunately, it's too warm for Florida heat because only Florida would actually have a party in the middle of August. So, well, the end of August. And as you can see, it has a Disney ticket. I'm just going to try and figure out the sizes. And you can say it says a UK 12. And if I get my glasses on, I might be able to tell originally where it came from, which I can't. All I can say is that it's a Disney frock and it's copyright for Disney. And I can't say much else other than it's quite a small 12. So I'll probably list it as a 10, 12. So what all I'm going to do with it is I'm going to hang it on the back of my door. And then... I'm going to start listing it now I know what I've got. So in the describe your item, I'm going to put Disney, Disney villains, uh, Halloween, Disney villains, Halloween dress, 12, and should we put bodycon? I think it's a bodycon dress. Bodycon or a wiggle. Yeah? So it comes up, then we go and have a little look. So those are the keywords, and then we're going to put what it is. Well, it's used. As far as I know, I bought it used, and it says to take some pictures. So take a new photo. So, and then you get this screen. So all I'm going to do is do a close up. Click that, you get up to 12 photos. So press the 
you just press the plus again and then take new photo. I'm going to go up for a close of the tag. Then I'm going to do a close up of the washing instructions. It also says keep away from fire on it. Don't want to be in near fire. It doesn't say where this was bought from. I wonder if it says in the middle there. No. And they've even got my glasses on. It looks to be in everything but English on the back here. Now there is a number, so I could have a look at that number. And now I'm going to take a close up of the figures on it so that I can write it in. So we've got the Evil Queen from Snow White. We've got Ursula from the Drag from um, which was Little Mermaid. We've got Cruella here as well. So that looks to be good. And then I'm going to take a picture of the back of the dress as well. And I'm going to list this for seven days. I'll show you how to do that. And I'm just going to take my other handy thing here. Where is it? Oh, here it is. So this is my tape measure. And <coughs> what's handy about this is that I can get measurements from tip to top to bottom, 33 inches or 84 centimetres. And I'll put that in the picture. And I'll also do across the shoulders there, which comes out at about 40. And they always take them as laying flat. So its main colour is like purple as well. Right, so once you've got all of those, we're then going to go back. And we've got a listing summary. So the title has come up as what we have, but we have 80 characters and I do suggest using it. So let's use Ursula, uh, Cruella, Cruella, let's spell it right, Cru, Cruella. And who else did we have up there? Evil Queen. Evil Queen. And we haven't got many, we've only got three. So we're gonna put very good condition. Okay, so VGC. Okay, and then we go back. And the next one is to make sure you're in the right category here. So this category is coming up as clothes, shoes and accessories in women, so that's fine. It's used, it's a bodycon dress, it's for Halloween. Add any unique descriptions. Now it has already put some stuff in there. And I always tend to put the same thing, dispatched next working day, because I can't, I can't post on day, the post office isn't open. Okay, and I also use like brokers as well if it's a heavy parcel, but this is only going to cost a couple of pounds to post. Okay, and then I put non-smoking household, and because I've listed them before, it's coming up as quick text which is quite good when you've got arthritis like me. And then you can put never worn, never worn as not suitable for hot, hot August heat, hot August in Disney world. And then you can put saving pennies for Florida. Every penny helps is 
every penny is appreciated. I quite, I, I quite like the idea that the phone can decide for me. And then many thanks for your help. And then on the end of it, I'll just put UK buyers. Only please. Okay, so that's the description done. I'm going to put it for a seven day auction. Now, I'm not going to put it as 99p because I probably paid about £6 for it. So I'm going to put £5.99. Okay, I'm not going to put a buy it now on because that costs more money. And then we go to delivery. Now, it always defaults to this, um, to this kind of Royal Mail. So I fancy not charging that to my buyer. I fancy going second class mail, £2.90. That'll do nice. No international delivery, so I'm going to click that off. Okay. And then it check your listing amounts. And then you list with displayed fees. Oh. Let's do the details. So it tells you if you've done something wrong. So in details, the colour is missing. So I'll put the size in as a 12. Sorry if you can hear me wheezing a little bit. I've got terrible <coughs> throat and my asthma is kicking off at the minute. Um, but I'm okay, I'm fine. And then purple. And then dress lengths. It's not a midi dress, it's... I think knee length on most people. So I don't know about exact material. I'll put that it's a regular size in. This just helps people, doesn't it? Helps them go. So we should be able to list with displayed fees. So there we go. Make sure your item gets sold. So we'll lower the price by 5% every time it gets auto listed. And I'm just going to put maybe next time because I think that this will probably sell. Probably sell in about, you know, a month's time when people are when people are kind of into buying Halloween stuff. I buy stuff very, very early. And this is a perfect Halloween dress. It's just it's August. So, well, it'll be it's July. So it'll probably be August when it's sold, October. Yeah, I can imagine if people are planning for holidays, they are getting the cases out by then. So um, that is how to list something on eBay, to list one listing. I'm now going to list some other stuff from eBay. So I'll do that all again with one more item just to show you how it's done. And hopefully you've liked and subscribed to this already and I'll tell you if it sells in my next vlog. I've got my weight loss vlog again tomorrow and I will see you then. Right. So if you're still here, congratulations. We're now gonna sell something else from the Disney stuff that I don't need to take. I took too much stuff last time. I've got three outfits for um, Animal Kingdom. And I'm only there for 14 days, so I don't need three outfits. And this, if I remember rightly, was off Amazon a long time ago, and it was actually quite expensive. So this is a Jungle Book t-shirt. Oh, here's the doggy. Hello, doggy, are you coming in? Come on then. <laughs> so this t-shirt I'm going to list in exactly the same way. And just having a look, the transfer is now starting to wear a little bit. So this won't be a very good condition. This will be a good condition. You're not going to notice that unless you shine a big old light through it. So but there's no marks on this t-shirt. There's no sweat marks. I couldn't sell things really that you wouldn't buy. You know, you won't wear, definitely not. This is by a company called Noisy Source, and it has got a Disney tag. Now, it doesn't have a sizing, I don't think, but I'm just going to check. Size 11 to 12 years. I won't mind. I wore that last year. 
<laughs> so yeah you could put down it as a size 8 but I'm going to put 11 to 12 years because that's what it says on the tag so we're going to go to list an item so here we are with describe your item so we're going to describe that as um, the jungle book jungle book t-shirt jungle book t-shirt and that is who's on there Baloo and Mowgli I'm really not sure how to spell Mowgli but I'm hoping that that is correct okay so and it's also pink and it's 11 to 12 years and I think we're safe to say that that is a girl's shirt so we're going to put it up as used it does then allow you to kind of see some other ones if there's something else listed with the same keywords there obviously isn't in this case we're going to take some photos and take some really good close-ups as well so you can see the transfer you can see anywhere on the transfer and it's a very bright light so it will show through and then I like to show the cuffs the seams because that's where a lot of the wear will show whoops and it'll fall off the fall off don't fall off and just little things like making sure your hands are clean because you're taking close-ups of them and then you want the back of the shirt these are coming up a bit dark these I don't like the idea of that let's try take a photo let's try taking off it's, it's on auto so I want it to be a bit more vivid this pink nope it's still dark that's annoying so let's put it on cloudy see what it does hmm no still not very bright take the flash off take the flash off oh that's better so I'm just trying to get a really good likeness for the color because otherwise there's no point so if you've got photos you can see here how one is quite dark this makes it look like it's a very dark pink but actually it's a very light pink shirt so I'm going to ditch that one and I'm going to ditch it. It's worth getting the right photo because otherwise nobody's going to want to buy it. So just deleting those. And I'm going to put these new ones up. So, do. Hear my kids, they're like laughing to themselves in their beds. It's a cute sound. I'm making sure that I get a close up of the tags in particular. It also allows you to see that there's no sunscreen marks on them. A lot of t shirts that are light in colour do get sunscreen marks, and that's no fun for anybody. Now I don't mind there being kind of like folds in this t-shirt, as you can see it's been folded. But if it was really scrunched up in a pile, I'd just take a quick eye into it, not a problem. So I'm just going to fold that up. And then that goes into my, it's on eBay pile, which is 
in a cupboard down the stairs. Right, so let's just list this. If you're still with me, congratulations. This must be the most boring video in living history. But, um, well, you know, every, I always wanted to know how to put stuff on eBay. So, so here's our title, making sure we've used up all the words, which we haven't. <coughs> Pink, 11 to 12, girls. Let's just put Disney, because some people look at Disney, don't they? Um, and let's put Animal Kingdom. Kingdom. Oh, it won't allow me. You used to put my words. So we're going to put Good Condition. Okay. GC. Right. So the next thing to do is to make sure you're in the, good, in the right category, which is 2 to 16 years. And if you're on eBay and you notice something's in the wrong category, it is good manners to tell the seller and ask them to pass that information on. I got a message. I had put a shirt into the wrong category and the seller, the person who viewed it, like accidentally, who was scrolling through my stuff, realised that I'd put one of my daughter's tops into a boy's pile. And it was a pink t-shirt, obviously it wasn't going to sell, so she told me, which was really nice. And I thanked her for it, and if I ever mention it, I certainly pass it on. So, the next thing to do, I just see a child passing by. The next thing to do is to make sure that the item details are there. So it wants the brand. And we decided on the brand, didn't we? It had it on here. The brand is called Noisy Sauce. <coughs> Excuse me. Noisy Sauce. So we just add that because it's not found the brand. It's obviously not a well-known brand. It's 11, 12 years. It's pink. It's, the character is Jungle Book. The character is not Mowgli, for example. The material is cotton. And the rest we can write, so unique flaws, unique flaws in here. So the Jungle Book dis dispatched Royal Mail, second class. Next, working day posting non-smoking household and then down here worn on Disney holiday last year no marks but can tell can tell not new Please zoom in on photos to see transfer. I can hear my cupboards being robbed down the stairs. Must have hungry children. Okay, so I'll sort them out some supper in a minute once we've finished this. Okay, so we've just put, I like to put why we're saving pennies for Florida holiday. Thanks for looking. Well, thanks for reading would do as well. So that's the description done. I'm going to start that at £1.20. I think that's fair enough. You've got your Royal Mail second class and I'm going to list that with displayed fees. So it's listed for free. You don't pay for it until it's done and you pay a percentage. So that is all done. And it goes into my active box so if i go into my active box there you can see i've got quite a few things for sale there i've got if i sort out the endest late the ending latest it should say there's my shirt there and there's my dress and i've already had two views on each one so someone's already been looking which is great there's no bids on them but someone's just been looking they look quite professional you can tell what they say so I'm quite happy with that. So I will do another one where I do it from my computer another time. And I'll also do a recap of how to like get the um, 
when you've sold how then to post those off that's fine so if you've enjoyed this video and you've made it this far you must have at least listed one thing on ebay so just to recap then you're going to need a tape measure a well-lit place a phone and the app downloaded but bar that you are ready to go and start selling okay so good luck with your sales this of course has not been sponsored by ebay um but i've been an ebay seller for for forever for forever now <laughs> just forever so i was an ebay seller before my daughter was born so i think yeah on dial up so I think I, uh, I kind of got it down to a fine art now, even though it's dead, dead boring. That's the worst thing I can say about it. Okay.